Welcome back. In this section, we're going to look at integrating Sonar Cube with Jenkins. So we have already committed the changes to the release branch. There are a couple of additional changes that we would need in order for Jenkins to talk to the Sonar Cube. So let's head over to the Jenkins. And I'm going to go to Manage Jenkins. Click on Manage Plugins. Click on Available. And we're going to use Sonar Cube Scanner for Jenkins. Go ahead and do install without restart. And that's been done. So technically we do not need to use this plugin, but we're going to install this so that um, it downloads any kind of sonar cube scanner as we configure the job. So now that we have it configured, let's go ahead and look at our DevOps job that we have set up for the development branch or the dev deploy or the dev CI and CD job. So if you look at the parameters, we have the branch, we have the tag, and we have the deploy of yes and no. So we're going to modify this to include another step, which would be a pre-step before we actually push the code to the artifactory. So let's go ahead and hit on configure. And as this loads up, you can actually go to look at the build environment and the pre step. And we're going to add where we have the clean package. We're going to add another step, which is sonar and sonar. So what this is going to do is it's going to do the clean package, run the sonar, push the reports. And there are additional plugins that's available for sonar that if the quality is not met, you can fail the build. And we're not going to look at that. It's a pretty straightforward plugin that you can integrate. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and do the apply and save. And let's head over to build with parameters and select our release branch. I don't want to tag it yet. I want to still deploy it and I'm going to go ahead and hit build. So let's follow this through. And right now it's actually doing the clean and package. It's running through the test. Let's make sure that it goes through and pushes the code metrics to the sonar cube. So the tests are complete, building the war into the workspace, and it is running the Sonar Maven plugin. And it's scanning the project, and it has pushed the changes to the local host 9000 for the DevOps. If we head over to our projects here, do a refresh, and we should see the latest changes pushed here. So now we have integrated Jenkins with Sonar.